we're going to do a little history lesson here. We're going to flash back to 2014. Maybe, oh, 2013. It was found in 2013. Went live 2014. The TSU or TSU network. This was a social network, and the idea was the advertising on this network would be shared with those who post. Unfortunately, it kind of turned into a situation where the entire thing devolved into a social media website filled with nothing but spam. History has a funny way of repeating itself. This is Steemit. Steemit also pays the users, but this time in cryptocurrency because that's the new hot thing. Um, and if you go on the front page, a lot of it is all about how great Steam and Steam it is. Again, devolving into a website of spam. I'll say this one, the content is better so far, but we'll see where it goes. Uh, Tsu eventually closed. They weren't able to maintain the spammy circle because when you're spamming the spammers, all you get is spam and no one actually goes there. Then we had, same year, Ello. Ello was gonna take down Facebook. They were gonna destroy Facebook. And they were gonna do completely ad-free. And uh, yeah, just gonna dominate. They're still around. They've kind of niched themselves into the, uh, the creative world. But they did a smart thing eventually and they started charging their users. Which is similar to Vero. So all these platforms, it always comes back down to one thing and they have in common, and that's money. So what do you do if you want a social media platform that doesn't require money to run? Well, you need something decentralized like Mastodon or GNU Social. So if you watched my videos before, you know that I'm a big uh, proponent of Mastodon. Mastodon is a social media network um, backed by ActivityPub a federation network that allows multiple instances and coming soon multiple platforms to all integrate directly um, so for example I'm on uh, mastodon.sdf.org you could be on mastodon.social and we could share even though those are completely different server stacks so this removes the money this part is where it all comes together. If you take the money out of social media, then you have to worry about things like tracking and advertising because it becomes more about the community. And something like Mastodon, which can be run on a $5 you know, droplet and host hundreds of users, um, it really means it scales. So I think the Mastodon and the underlying Activity Pub are a good example of the future of a decentralized internet and probably the only way you can completely control um, your social media realm because you have as much privacy as you want and the much flexibility as you want um, but you still have the ability to connect so that's my two cents peace out